What is up? Welcome to the South Coast. Today's video will be installing a fuel shutoff valve on the Bad Boy Maverick mower. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got this organ part number 07-403 uh, fuel shutoff valve. Unfortunately, it's made in China. Um, I was not able to find a, one made in the United States just on my quick little Amazon search, but it's a quarter turn ball valve off on. We'll uh, go ahead and find a good spot in the fuel line on the bad boy to get this thing installed. Alright guys, so we got the fuel filter right there. I want to go upstream with the fuel filter. So whenever we do a fuel filter change, we'll be able to shut off the valve from the tank, run everything dry, and then change that fuel filter. So let's lift the seat up and uh, see, see where we could put it. So fuel line comes out of the tank here, routes under, and it is zip tied to this beam under here. I guess you could call it a beam. Then comes into the fuel filter right there. So what I'm thinking is we unzip tie this, pull that line out and put it right up underneath that this uh, frame member right there. So it's out of the way, it won't get hit by anything, and we'll be able to get it swapped out. So let's uh, cut some zip ties, see if we can get access to that section of the fuel line and get it put in.
All right, guys. Well, that was easy enough. Uh, got it tucked away. Really can't see it. Maybe pull it out just a little bit and see. There's a lever for it right there. But easy to get to with the seat up. It's out of the way. Nothing's going to grab it while you're running and, and shut your mower down. But is a quick and easy little modification. Will help with maintenance in the future as well as helping with um, winterizing if you're in an area where you actually need to winterize your mower where you're not running it for a while. So got it done. That's it. All right, guys. Well, we got that valve put in there. It's quick, easy job. Uh, all you need is that fuel valve and a couple of hose clamps. I'll uh, go ahead and get some Amazon affiliate links and put those down in the description. Y'all pay the same price, but it helps me out, helps support the channel. Um, and y'all supporting the channel will help grow the channel. So I appreciate that if y'all use those links. But like I said, it was quick and easy. Um, I used those woodworking clamps to pinch off the fuel line so I didn't spill a bunch of fuel. There's still a little bit in there that came out, but that's to be expected. Got the fuel line in, got it hidden underneath that frame rail to where nothing's going to hit it and actuate it while you're mowing. So no worries there. Um, but yeah, quick and easy job. I recommend it. It'll make it easier for changing that fuel filter down the line as well as getting your mower put up for the winter. You can just go ahead and close that valve off, run your fuel out of your engine, and put a little bit of stabilizer in the fuel tank for whatever fuel you have left over, and you should be good to go. Around here on the south coast, really don't have to winterize the mower because I still still cut every now and again during the winter because south mississippi winter oftentimes feels like the summer so anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you think go ahead and make this mod to your mower i think it's worthwhile pretty cheap real easy do it anyway guys y'all have a good one we'll catch you next time down here on the south coast